like this. So, two halves, make two halves. Okay, this is middle line thread, what you need. All of you have that one, I guess. Okay. All right. Are you ready with middle line thread? <coughs> Pass on the needle like this. You are pass on the needle this way. Did you get that one? Yes. So it hangs with the thread. It hangs with the thread. Can you see that one? Yes, sir. Okay, now what you do is after this, you pass on the needle from the center of this uh, graph paper, the center of uh, that coordinate axis. Okay, from this one. You, you, you fix it exactly along positive x-axis like this with the help of masking tape or any other kind of tips what you can do is that you can attach it at the back so for this one take the masking tape this is the piece of masking tape and you, you hold it up you hold it up and here you have the thread and attach it with masking tape like that so that it fits permanently over there and it rotates this way it rotates you can see the action of rotation so it, it rotates perfectly and now to work further on it you just fix it along x-axis. Fix it along x-axis with masking. Uh, transfer, uh, transference sheet and that one is graph paper. Yeah? And with the needle line thread. Do you have needle line thread? Yes. So you can take this needle line thread and what you do is make a hole here. Pass on the needle through that one. And at the back side at the back side, you attach it with the masking tape this way. It is attached there and put out the extra part of the thread which you don't need. So now you have this type of thing. Can you do it yourself? Okay. Yes. 
That is perfect. Let me check. Oh, no. So you, you have to take out the thread, you know? You have to take out the thread like that. And fix at the back with masking tape. Masking tape is in. Locating the point. Locating the point. It is 3, 1 over here. This is the point A. A is the point 3, 1. And I like to take B as 5, 4. B is the point 5, 4. And C is the point a2. So you you look at that point. Which point I said? A is the point. Three one. B is the point. Okay. B is the point. Five four. Five four. Five four. And C is the point. Eight two. So with these points, you draw a triangle as the object triangle over there. is 3 minus 1 after reflection in x axis it is a dash b is the point 5 minus 4 this is b dash and c is the point 8 minus 2 so it goes to c dash like this and here also you complete the triangle A dash, B dash, C dash by drawing the line segment like this. So you have the object triangle and you have the image triangle. To set the image triangle, just to indicate the differences that one is the object and another is the image. This way. Did you get that what I said? Transparency, transparency sheet with this line is fixed in the graph paper with needle line thread. And after that we have drawn one triangle ABC and we have drawn the image of that one under the reflection in that line. So now what you can do is this. Having reflection in x-axis. While you reflect in x-axis, the image of the point A is A dash. And A dash goes to is A goes to A dash like this. That has the coordinate 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1. You can see that way. And this point B goes to B dash. And you can read the coordinates. The coordinates are 5 minus 4. And at the same time, you can see the point C. C goes to C dash. C dash has the coordinate 8 minus 2. So what pattern you have seen here? So here, what you have seen is that under reflection, under reflection in x-axis, if you have a general point x or y, that will have the image x minus y. That's the generalization. Now, uh, Asmita, can you answer one thing? Can I use the same material to find the uh, reflection in y-axis? Yes. How can I do it? Okay. So, can I have a piece of masking tape? Thank you.
Okay. Now, look. So, Asmita, you have said that it is possible to what? Rotation. So, I have to rotate it up y axis so that the axis of reflection fits exactly to y axis. In this case, triangle ABC is the object and that one is the image. And you can say that this is the object and that's also the image. So here what has one doing? And it is gone to a dash. A dash has the coordinate 1 comma 3. Okay? Similarly, B has the coordinates. So minus 4, minus 4, 5. Minus 4, 5 and has gone to B dash. 4 comma 5 and similarly C is the point what is the point C? C is the point minus 2 8 has gone to C dash 8 comma no C dash 2 comma 8 you can see here it has gone to 2 comma 8 here yeah. so that way We have generalized that if it is a reflection in y axis, the point x of y goes to minus x axis. And you can verify this taking it into negative y axis. The same effect you will see using this material. So, are you okay? Yes, sir. Enjoyed it? Yes, sir. So, this is how we verify our reflection classes. Yes, sir. Uh, the concept of coordinates in reflection. <coughs> <coughs> So the class ends here. If you have finished it off, you have to paste your work in your practical part. Yeah, you can, you can uh, get out the unnecessary parts of the transparency sheet and of that as well and fix it in your practical sheet as a permanent method.